you're going to be on record again. All right, let's pray. Awesome, God, I'm just so thankful that we are able to gather this evening to do your work. Even in the midst of COVID, we are, we are gathered and we are um, being your hands uh, during this time. Bless our conversation. Thank you for Kathy's leadership as we learn to make yarn out of plastic bags. And please, Lord, um, be with those who are experiencing homelessness, those who will receive um, mats that are made out of these, these bags and um, those that are on the streets in our communities, Lord. Help us to open our hearts and eyes and minds to the ways that we can be your, be your light in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm going to share Thank you, my, Audrey. yeah, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to watch a video from Motor City. And can you guys see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Okay. There's this one and then we have another one um, that I'll play right after. So it's a total of like three minutes. <laughs> Okay. Oops, this one first. Avery. Not just, oh, I have no money. My new friends. I met poor people. Not just, oh, I have no money and I can't buy that dress I want or paint my nails for looks or buy that gift I want for that special someone. No, I saw people so poor that they have a garbage bag to carry their whole life. I saw sad people on the street who look lost and wanting, who struggle to walk, who eat a sandwich so fast you may think it rude. I see sad people who have been beaten up, struck down, forced over, and swept away by illness. I communicated to people on the street that were happy, happy because they were so high that they couldn't feel their own mind. I saw people happy because they got a can of pop to drink today, and a cookie to taste, and a t-shirt that was clean, and shoes that fit in a tent to make a new home. I listen to stories from people on the street that survive and struggle and sing and sigh. And I hear strong people and weak people and people that want nothing but a person to know that they care. And as I close my eyes at night, I feel guilty for so many years I watched and walked by these people who just needed a smile to make their day or a leftover meal that I was taking home. And I pray but this madness stops in my world. And I realize that I do really care about my friends that I can't wait to visit again. I'm Gail Marlowe and I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Motor City Mitten Mission. The Mats and Pillow Project is our process of taking plastic bags and recycling them to make sleeping mats and pillows for the homeless. We've made this process into an assembly line. So what we'll do is we'll group uh, bags in groups of 20, we flatten them out, we fold them, we cut them, and then we tie them into knots and then we roll them up in a ball and then we have them crocheted. There's a good 50 hours that go into making a mat and pillow set. The reason why our mats are so great for people that are homeless, one is that it acts as an insulation and a barrier between the ground and their body. It's bug resistant, pretty cushiony for the most part, so they're softer. It's pretty easy to transport or to fold up and to kind of move around and be portable for them to use as well. I have some really amazing people that are volunteers. We have volunteers that come from every walk of life. There's absolutely no excuse for you not to be able to volunteer with this project because not only is it so easy, it doesn't cost anything and you can do it at your own home. It, it really, the point of what we're doing, it's really, again, to create a positive experience for people to wanting to give back to their community. It's a very communal process. All right, Kathy, you're up. Okay. Okay, so um, 
what you just saw was uh, the clip um, that Gail has up. It's Motor City Mission Rescue. They um, have been around for quite a bit. They used to be down at um, St. Clair de Montefaco. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and um, they, uh, to do all their work. And then when COVID hit and the churches had to close, um, they were able to get uh, some sort of support and they now have a storefront up on Harper um, between nine and 10 along here and that um, so that um, people can still um, drop off bags or the plarn. Um, they do more than this. If you saw her car, um, they have people who are making uh, meals to take out every night. They're the only group in uh, Detroit that goes uh, seven days a week mm -hmm. out to the homeless. Mm -hmm. um, they, um, they did, uh, so they go out every night, they take food, they take these, they check on people, um, they collect other things. On Monday, you can take clothes on furniture to them and they will um, give out the clothes and stuff like that. Furniture's there for those that um, eventually get an apartment and, and need um, household items and stuff. Um, they work with one of the health centers to get people to the health centers um, and that. So um, they're more than just the map people, okay? And so what we're making tonight is called Plarn and um, they make mats and they make pillows um, as you saw, you didn't see the pillow, but you saw the mat. Um, they're also this year trying to figure out how to make mittens to, for people to put these over, you know, the thinner gloves so that they would be more waterproof and warmer on that. So um, your, our bags could end up anywhere. Um, one of the things she didn't tell you, how many bags do you think it takes to make one of those mats? No clue. Anybody want 30. to take it? 30? Anybody else? 100. 200. 200? Any other guesses? Go ahead. Avery says five. Five? <laughs> How many, Avery? Um, I'm guessing 30. Well, the mat, remember, is, is at least six feet long. Um, it takes 500. Thanks. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. To do this. So um, it may seem like so we're making, making a placemat today. <laughs> 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 You're starting one. Then, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll make up our balls and you can make it as many as you want. Um, and you can teach people to do this, which would be cool. And then drop them at church. And then I'll pick them up and take them over to her. Um, and if you want to learn to crochet them, then um, contact the Motor City Mission. She was talking about putting up a video on how to do the crocheting stitch. I think that is there one on their YouTube? Maybe there's not. Yet. Um, at the Zoom I was in, she was talking about putting one up. Um, yeah. You can go and plarn. I mean, you can plarn in your home. Um, you can go to the uh, storefront um, certain days a week and plarn with people, um, sort bags um, and that. Um, and that, or you can volunteer, like she says, to go out with them or make the meals, sort stuff. Um, and I know that, um, well, we'll learn plarn and then I'll tell you a little more, okay? Okay, all right. Now, if you have bags I gave you, um, what I did, okay, was to go through the bags and put them by color and the weight of the plastic, okay? Now, this is important because when you go to make your plarn, if they're um, different weights, then you get different size knots, and then that makes it hard for the crocheter. So um, you can use any kind of plastic bag, but when you make the ball of plarn, it should all be the same weight of plastic. And then they like them to be all the same color. So even though you're making a small ball, somebody will pick it up and add it to more. Um, 
because the people who are doing the crocheting like to have a little bit of creativity and be able to mix their colors or make a pattern or whatever. And so, you know, turning in a great big ball of white is great, you know, like 500 bags, but somebody might pull off just so much of it and then go to a different color. So the little balls are, are really quite helpful, okay? A uh, couple of things about the bags. Um, you have to, when you go to do this, we're going to do them one at a time because we're just beginners, okay? Um, if you get good at this um, and can fold well, then you can go to two or three at a time, right? She said 20, but I find nice slip for me, and so I'm a one-er <laughs> still right now, but it, it doesn't take that much longer. The other thing is um, you want to check to make sure there's no holes um, in certain parts of the bag. So I'm going to show you what you what's okay and what isn't. So let's see here. Um, the top of the bag is not quite so important with it being torn because we're going to cut that. But on the sides, can you see this is like the side? This will not work. You will understand when we go to cut that this would be fatal to your thing. But having a hole at the very bottom of the bag is okay. You know how they split down there? Mm -hmm. That's okay. But you don't want any holes on the sides, okay, okay. of any sort because it makes for a, a weakness in the bag. Okay. Um, one other thing I learned was don't just go by color. Um, they can be actually, it's funny, but different sizes. These both are white Kroger bags. I'm going to tip my computer down. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. So hold on for a minute. All right. Can you see my bags? Yeah. Okay. You should, may not be able to see me, but you can see my bags. Yeah. Okay. They're both white bags. I have tucked in the sides already. There are two different bags. I guess I need to flip it. Two different companies. And so if we were to cut these together more than one at a time, the one on the bottom would get screwed up. Can you see that? How much bigger the one on the bottom is? Yeah, okay. So that's why um, doing one at a time to begin with is good. Um, if you start stacking them, then they you got to make sure they're the same size and shape. Okay, so everybody pick up one of your bags, okay? And um, it's probably semi-straightened for you. But when you go to do this yourself, you're going to need to straighten it. So what I do is I take a hold and put my finger in one corner down at the bottom and put my other finger up on the top. And I pull it so that the um, original fold comes back. All right. And then I do. Okay. And then I do it on the other side, the same thing. Pull. So it's so that the original fold that was there um, before they put anything in the bag is back in place. So everybody do that so that your bag lays flat on your table. Are we good? Yep. Now, hopefully everybody has a pair of scissors, right? Don't want anybody using their teeth. You can use rotary cutters if you want. All right. Are we good? I can't see you okay. guys, so just sit and make yep. some noise. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is take your bag and fold it in half lengthwise. So that the edges, yes? My bag has a hole kind of in the middle. Is that okay? In the middle of the bag or at the bottom? 
Well, it's a Pet Supplies Plus, and it's by the dog. I don't have one of those bags sitting by me. Um, it's maybe four inches from the side, three inches from the side. No, okay, so just put that bag aside, Carol, and take a different okay. bag. Now, don't throw that bag away. I'll tell you what happens to those. Okay, let me, let me get a new bag. I thought I caught them all. Did we lose Marie? Marie, where are you? She's here. Oh, she's here. Yep. Okay. A bunch of us. A bunch of us are muted, so we can see you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You ready, Carol? Yes. All right. Thank you. So you've made one hot dog fold, right? Now you're going to make another hot dog fold and fold it over to the edge again. All right? Yep. Okay, now take your scissors and you're gonna take the sealed end, the bottoms, right? Where your bottoms are. And you're yep. gonna cut about a, uh, um, between a half inch and a quarter inch off the bottom, straight across, like that. Okay. Now save all these little pieces, they become something else. Mm. Okay, yep. Now, up at the top where the handles are, you're going to cut off about a quarter inch where the handle ends. See, here's my handles, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna cut off about a half an inch below where they end. See where my finger is? Yep. Okay, okay. so we're gonna, cut, we're gonna cut right across there. So you're taking the handles plus a little bit of the very top. Half an inch, did you say, Kathy? Half? Quarter, half, quarter, quarter, half inch below. Okay. Okay? Yep. Now, yep. you're gonna now fold the this rectangle, skinny rectangle, in half. Okay. This way. Everybody see that? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, pick it up, and you've got this new fold line right here, right? Right. Everybody's got that? Okay, put your, yep. put your scissors in and cut right along that fold line so that you get two p equal size pieces. Got it. Everybody good? You get an A, Aubrey. Good job. Okay, you ready? Okay, now you could put the two of them on top of each other, but they, they could slide. So I, I'm doing it this way still as a pretty beginner. I'm gonna take one of the sets and I'm gonna fold it in half again. All right, and once I fold it in half, that new fold I have, I'm going to cut there. All the way across. And then I'm gonna repeat with the other one, the same thing. And cut all the way across.
So now you have your quarters. That should be a familiar term to the quilters, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so now we are, we are ready to actually chain them together. All right. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and chain the four of them together so we can practice that. And then if we wanna do another bag, we can or not. So pick up one of your quarters and unfold it and it should make a nice ring. Everybody get a nice ring? Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, so this is why um, you had to tuck the, uh, the, make this bag go back to its regular shape is so that these rings form and you don't cut them wrong. A lot of other videos show you a weird way to cut. This was the easiest one, um, actually. All right, so you got one like this. Unfold another one all the way. So you have two rings in your hand. Right? Two rings. Okay. Now I'm going to push my screen up. There I am. Sort of. Hi. Okay, so we all have two rings, yes? Yep. Yep. One in each hand, yes? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Marie's ahead of me. <laughs> all right, so you're going to take one of the bags and place it inside the other bag and make a T out of it. So that hang on. Ta da! I have a T. See it? Everybody yeah. got a T? No. Yep. I don't have a T yet. Okay, hold. We'll wait for you, Carol, to get a T. I'm not sure how I get the T. Um, you're going to stick one bag in, inside the other bag. Okay. And make it. And just, and hold the horizontal piece in your hands and let the other ring fall. It will go out of the, out of my T. Carol, can you look and see at our screen? Do I put it inside? Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. this? Yes. Can, okay. Thank you for the remedial teaching. Hey, that's okay. So everybody's got a T, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. All yeah. right, so you have, now we're gonna do left hand, right hand, okay? Take your left hand and hold on to the bag and tuck it into where your right hand is. Everybody mm -hmm. got that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Now you, you went over the top of the T, right? You went over the top. Yes. Go yeah. over the top okay. of the T and, and then... tuck the horizontal, the horizontal piece okay. one into the other. And okay. then switch. Now switch hands. So it's like this. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Hey. I don't have that step. Okay. <laughs> laughing at Aud at Aubrey. <laughs> How you doing, Carol? Um, I I don't think I did the last step. Can you see what I have? No. Carol, you've gone black. You're you've gone black on us. We can't see you anymore. Oh. So well, I went to single. I'll do. I went to active. You can go back to the gallery. Okay, see if I'm, sorry, don't mean to hold okay. class up. No worries, no worries. Don't worry. I still can't see you. I, I can't see myself either. 
So hit your screen until it's active and then make sure down at the bottom or where your options are that it says start video. Share. Start video. Because right now see, all we have I is see audio. Stop, I, I see stop video. Oh, okay. It does I, say your video is on, so it might, there might be something blocked. Your camera, it, yeah, is your camera blocked? Okay. Yay! There you okay. are! Okay. You see me or my pillow? <laughs> I see your pillow. <laughs> okay, so now I need, it's on the pillow. Is there a chair? Just, yeah, hit reverse on your screen and it will turn the camera to face you so we can see your face. Reverse? Yeah, there should be, let me see if I can show it to you here. Are you on an iPad? I am. So you just wanna look for that little symbol right here and that flips your camera around from looking outward to looking toward you. So see that little symbol on your iPad? It's like a circle with arrows. No. All right, I got my iPad here. Kathy, go ahead and teach and I'll... We'll do another one, Carol. Will okay. You? Okay, uh, so B got the idea, all right? So when you're like this, yeah, now you can, now you drop down to the long piece and pull, equal. Okay. Yep. Do I hold both tops or no? Do I hold both? both? Yeah, hold both tops in one hand. And then, and then pull. And then, then pull, pull from the bottom one. Okay. So we just daisy chain all of these pieces. Exactly. Ah. Are they, we pull them tight? Um, you don't want to pull it so tight that the knot would not be able to get undone. Okay. Or you break it, but you don't want it, you know, too, too loose, loose either. Okay. okay, okay, yeah, okay. So yes, you've just daisy chained. Okay. Okay. So now to add the next one, you take your next quarter. Mm-hmm. Stick it inside the long one like we did the last time and make the T. Mm -hmm. Then tuck the one right hand inside for the left. Hold both of them together with your left hand. Now, when you go to pull, find your knot. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Okay. okay. Did I just take one quarter? Um, yeah, just pick up one quarter, Margie, and you're going to chain it to the chain you're making. I stick it through the a loop. Uh -huh. you, make, you make your T, right? I just this is my long piece. piece. Yeah, oh, just yep. take one piece of that quarter. Okay. Right. Okay. Or just, okay. And you're gonna tuck, make your okay, tee. with the long piece with, with the knot hanging down. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you, now you're gonna repeat what we did before. Okay. The front of me. You're gonna tuck it in. Okay. All right. And yeah. hold on at one end, and then you show up. It shows the pillow. I wanna Should it be, does it have to go? How far does it go down? So potentially we could have a huge chunk of counties reporting all those. What do you mean, March? How far down? No, I mean the knot. I mean, Until it reaches the end. Switch camera. Thank you. Well, I mean, the, there's another knot, at, or there's knots are spaced between. I mean, like. Yeah. So you're gonna oh, have. So you're gonna you, have the string, and yeah, then a knot. knot, and then you daisy then chain it. The string, string 
with the knot. The knot. Gotcha. Okay, and then I got string, it. And then okay. the knot. Okay. Hmm. Can you see me now? Yes, we can see you. Okay. So we'll have Kathy, you want to walk Carol through the process again while we, the rest of us, just um, keep cutting our thing and nodding? Kathy, I mean. Oh, Kathy, you're on mute. Kathy, you're on mute. Okay. If you don't go down to the knot and you pull from the middle, you can make one of them unequal and then it's going to be yucky. So if you always go to the knot to pull, it will be okay. easy. All right. So Carol. Okay. Carol, I, okay, we're going to, we're going to start over here, Carol. I've got two quarters or what do you got, hon? Show me what you got. Can you see it? Um, okay, sort of yes and no. Could you pick up, uh, take your thing apart, take it apart and we'll start all over. Take it apart? Turn it into two quarters. Okay. Now I've got two rings. Two rings. You okay. got two rings? Just like me? Okay. Okay, yep. now you're going to take the one in your right hand and you're going to tuck it inside the other ring. And make the T. And make the T. Okay. Good? Good. Okay. All right, now you you're going to take your right hand piece and you're going to tuck it inside the left hand piece. Okay, I think. And then I pull it. Now, and then you're going to hold on to that piece. See at the top? And you're going to pull from the very bottom and the very top until it makes the knot. Makes a knot in the middle. Yep. Okay. That's you did the it. Knot. That's it. That's it? That's Thank it. Thank you. All right. So now you take another quarter. Okay. Do and the T. Do the T. Okay. Now do the but top. The, the right through the left. Yep. Right through the left. And then pull. And then pull all so the this way. This is my knot. Yep. Okay, thank you, Kathy. And pulse, and you need to pulse so they're equal when they go out, see? And so this is planning. Huh. Wasn't it difficult, guys? Let's okay. do another one. It, it, we figured out how to do it with two people. We got a teamwork thing going on oh, over here. Okay. Hey, Hi. you lucky girl. Oh, oh you're no. so lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Margie, we'll do another one. But yeah, I want to tell you what's going to happen to the little pieces that you cut off. Okay, yep. Stick them in an extra bag and deliver those scraps because this is what they stuff the pillows with. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So the okay. eyes and hands can go in one. Okay, gotcha. Right. And then any bags that are bad, okay, you can put in that same thing and they'll cut oh. them up to stuff the pillows. So we can put, like, I have bags around here that have holes and stuff. I can just put them, the bags in another. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then mark them as scrap so that they okay. know they're not good bags to plarn. Okay. And they'll cut them up and use them inside the pillows. Gotcha. Okay. So nothing yeah. gets wasted. Yes. When we are done, how many bags go into, we talked about how many bags go into a ball, ideally, and how to wrap them up. Okay. So depending, you know, when you get bored, <laughs> 
right? You can start rolling it up just like a ball of yarn, okay? Um, so on a video that she has on the website, she shows what about 20 balls make a size. I'll show you kind of. Yeah. When you put 20 bags together, it makes a ball about this size. Okay. 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 And um, she had one on the table that was 500. It was huge wow. oh. <laughs> in one of the videos I watched it for her Zoom. So, um, you know, you can keep adding to it and wind it up and adding or start a different color or whatever, right? When we get our balls done, where do we take them? I'll have a box at church um, labeled Plarn, and um, you can put them in there, okay? When we get done rolling the ball, do you tuck the end in somewhere or tape it on so it doesn't unroll or what? Do you yes, do? yes, okay. Which of those things? Do we tape it or just? I, you it? could, you could, whatever's going to work, you know, tuck, tape. I think tape would hold better because I'm going to put them all in a, a bigger garbage bag and take them over that way to her. Thank you. No. Um, do you want to do another one from the beginning? Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. So I have another bag. I am making it taut so that the folds go in on both sides. I've got it laying flat on my table. Okay, are we ready, Margie? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna do one hot dog fold. Okay. Make sure your edges are e even. Make a second hot dog fold. All right, okay. take your scissors and cut the bottom off about quarter inch, half inch. Go to the top and I'm gonna cut off about a quarter inch, half inch below where the handles end. Okay. Yep. Now, you're going to fold it hamburger wise this way. Yep. Make, and make sure I, I tuck my finger in to make sure there's no wrinkles. And along that short new fold, I'm going to insert my scissors and cut. Okay, so I should have two packets. Yep. I'm gonna take the one packet, fold it in half, and cut that new fold apart. So I have a set of quarters. Take the other piece, do the same. And cut it. And so I now have four quarters, which should open up into four rings. Oh. Washington, D.C. Whoa. Okay. So now you can pick up your long piece that you did your first four on. Open up one of the quarters, right? 
Use your long piece for the T, you know, the long piece. So you're going to do this and make your T. Right? And then you're going to stick right inside left, grab it, go to the knot, and pull it all the way out. You get another knot. What's wrong, Heidi? As we add on, we can just do one at a time, right? Yep. Good. Yep. My kitten is playing with my plarn. Knock it off. <laughs> Knock out. Stop it. Well, Mom. So you just kind of want to make your knots about the same size and just keep on rolling. So who does the the crocheting? Um, there's volunteers um, that they either do it at home or um, the center there on ten on Harper or um, there's a group of uh, people doing it at the helm. Oh yeah, okay. Um, Normally, our senior citizen center, but it is closed to that. But they used to have women that came in, did plarn, um, you know, or would crochet the plarn. Whoever, um, do you guys know? Do you guys know Deb Goodall from church? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Um, she does the crocheting. Oh wow! She knows all about this. <laughs> wow. So, so she crochets. Um, so people can either do, you know, make from their own bags or they can go to the center and, or harm, you know, and they've got the plarn there and they can just sit and crochet or take it home and crochet. We made our ball. Very nice, very fabulous. 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 I'm happy to make the plarn. I know how to knit, but I've never been able to crochet. Although I wonder if, if I crochet plastic bags better than I can crochet knit yarn. <laughs> well, what I'll try to do is see what, I don't crochet either, but I'll ask Gail if, the, if she's got one yet. Um, I, on the video, you can see it's a big crochet hook they use, um, not a little one, and, um, and that. But um, so there's people all over that are, are doing this. Um, when the schools were in um, able to meet, there were um, uh, even like elementary schools who were making the plarn and delivering it. And some of the high schools and that actually were crocheting the bags. Um, she has relatives um, up north and that teach in a high school and they were doing it up there. Now, um, why does it have to be crocheted and not knit? I don't know. Because I don't crochet either, but I'm thinking if we knit, then crocheting can't be that hard. <laughs> Look at Audrey's eyes. I've tried to crochet and my it's tension is- like you think that they would be the same, but it is like a different motion. Maybe it's because I know how to knit. <laughs> oh, so they're really different? They are. Oh. I took a crocheting class and the lady was just like, and she was, and she said, your tension's bad. I said, you know, if I could knit, my tension's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, not for you, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, she was sort of like, this is kind of a loss, lady. <laughs> after after two weeks of trying to just chain, it was a loss. That is so funny. So that and basket making uh, are not my four days. <laughs> this is so great, Kathy. Thank you. I, I've been hearing about this since I got here. So it's yeah. really nice to be able to know how to make it and know how easy it is. I mean, Avery... Avery knows how to do it now. Yeah. Um, 
And I, I just said it's really, it's really, it's really cool. And I like to sit, you know, at the end of the day, I like to just kind of sit and either knit or quilt or whatever. And um, so this is a nice little project. I have um, a question. Yes. This, this one, okay. This is a little, I'm not quite doing this right. Okay, so here we go. I've got this and this. Yep. Okay. This is my right hand right here, and this is my left. Okay. Okay. So this goes inside. Uh huh. Now grab that piece with your left hand. This piece. To. Yep, and hold on to it, uh -huh. and let the other let the other pe let the other loop go. All right. Let it go. Now, All right. Now pull from the the piece and keep pulling till it straightens itself out to knot. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. It just didn't seem to go that easy, but you're the teacher. You're, <laughs> you're a good teacher, Kathy. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Actually, like I, when I saw this, it was like, oh yeah, I used to do this. You've got the name for it, daisy chain, Heidi. But when I was a kid, we used to do this to rubber bands. To me, yes. yes, 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 absolutely. Oh, and then, yeah. wait, what would you make yep. with that? Bands? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, long chains with rubber bands like this. And then what yep. would you do with it? I don't know. What do we do? <laughs> Make the world's largest rubber band rubber ball. Band, like, ball. Or actually, there was a there was some sort of a jumping game that when you made a loop of them and you had the two loops, and then two people would stand yeah. inside the loop and stretch it out really far. And spread their legs. Anybody do this? Obviously not. No, no. <laughs> okay. Well, the two two Let's people do instead of doing this for jump rope. Let's go ahead. You would pull have it tight. Be you know, pull it tight. What's happening? Okay. Okay. It's like the first part of tying your shoes. Yeah, yeah you did it, B. You, you did, did it. it. You just have to keep at it till it gets down there. All right. Because Baby, I, I kind of had to work at the knots, too. Some of my uh, knots weren't going easy, so I kind of okay. had to work at my knots, you know? Oh, well, I, you, are the, you are the ladies that can do this stuff. I just, I just... You're doing bumble. fine! How's oh, Carol God. doing? Carol, how you doing? Looks nice. like she's at it, yeah? There she goes, there she goes. Anyways, Audrey, the thing was, it used to be called Chinese jump rope. Oh, you used, you used a long set of daisy chained rubber bands. Rubber bands. Interesting. And you, uh, yeah, you hopped in and out across the rubber bands, and you'd cross your feet and cross the rubber bands, and That's so cool. I don't know, some thing so we did. Cool. Kathy, why don't you demonstrate for us when you get some? Done? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I need a few extra. I need a few extra people in the house to do that. <laughs> we used to those do it. Were the, those were the days, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some Advil for when she gets up tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> um, and by the way, um, they'll take the, I mean, just even sorting the bags by size and weight for them is helpful. Is helpful. Okay. And even going as far as cutting the quarters and just leaving the quarters that way so somebody mm -hmm. else could, mm -hmm. could learn. Okay. They'll, take, they'll take any step that kind of helps them along the way. Right, that helps yeah. them along the way. Um, because it takes, like she said, from beginning to end, it could take 50 hours to do 500 bags. Wow. So, um, well, this is so great, Kathy. Again, just thank you for leading this. And thanks to everyone for hopping on. And um, it'll be cool to see. Maybe we can get a picture of all the all the plarn we made. Um, I've been taking pictures all along. And I'll post them on Facebook tonight. That okay. was a smart thing to do, Heidi. That was good. Occasionally, I'm smart, B. You're smart <laughs> all the time. Nope. You are. No, I'm not. 
So anyways, it was fun, girls. Yeah, thank, thank you, Tess. Thank you, Tess. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're Great. welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B